All right, welcome back, friends. This is Chad. I'm Gamer for Fun. I'm playing Neuromancer, and uh, I'm just a little distraught at the moment. Um, I just tried taking down the database at NASA, believe it or not, in the game Neuromancer. I want to make that clear. Um, and uh, I was pushed back by our good friend Hal from the old Space Odyssey saga. Ah, so I'm licking my wounds. I'm at the Gentleman Loser. And um, I'll just cycle through a bunch of stuff here. Oh, you know what I got to do? We're picking up right where we left off. Um, I think I got to debug some software here. So I'm going to do that real quick, and I'm going to get back into cyberspace, and I'm going to avoid the NASA database. Oh yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad I decided to debug here, because man, what the heck? Ah, so like I said, I'm a little distraught. When I record these video, um, I usually do a sequence at a time, because uh, just that's best for me and my time frames so um so yeah i'm a little bit <laughs> i was feeling pretty confident two episodes ago now i'm like eesh okay okay Hal kind of turned us away twice and i have a feeling it's just because our skills are not good enough not good enough to take down Hal yet. So we're going to get back into cyberspace. We are going to uh, item. See our good old trusty Samurai 7. We're going to operate that. We're going to use the cyberspace software. We're going to disc flip because we're playing on an emulated Commodore 64. And we are ready to get into it oh while it's loading i'll show you my map again it's not updated but uh 448 and 32 down here towards the right hand corner uh we're gonna avoid that area so i think i'm gonna break left this time in fact i'm gonna back right up to the edge whoops if i get the right keys I'm going to, whoa, database right here. What is this guy? Oh, we know what this is. This is um, Eastern Seaboard, isn't it? Okay. Ah, sorry about that. I left the map up. There we go. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm like, huh, why is it, why is it look a bit different here? Why am I not moving? There we go. Sorry emulated keyboard i was like all over the place okay here's another database right here what are we looking at uh okay you know what let's find the edge let's find the edge because i think the edge of the zone we're gonna hit it pretty quick oh here it is right here 272 272 and 16 there's a database up ahead Head. You know what? Let's get this other one here real quick. Okay, so it's on the 320 plane. And whoops. Gosh, man. Sorry, I'm like. Man, that battle with Hal really took a lot out of me. I'm like super distraught. I can't believe he threw me off like that. What the heck? Okay, we are definitely going to enter 320. And whoop, 32. I don't know what you are yet. No, because we are, you know our sequence. We're going to immediately go uh, ice breaking skill ch chip, right? Okay, just waiting for it to load. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, that that battle with Hal really uh, 
man, I was so confident. And then he just crushed me. Hmm. Whoops, crushed me so bad I hit skill chip twice here when I want to go item. And I want to go probe. Because we pr we're going to probe and f just find out what the heck is what. Copenhagen U. Okay, Copenhagen U. What the heck is that? Level two. I don't know. Copenhagen. I don't think we've encountered Copenhagen before. Okay, either way. You stand no chance. We are taking you down, Copenhagen. And we are sending... What the heck? Viruses. Okay, Injector 1.0. Okay. Uh, let's use Injector 1.0 here. See, you want to try to use your, um, obviously you want to use your viruses right off the bat. There's a program called Slow, which I believe is a cyberspace interface corruptor. <laughs> I think it slows the ice down. I don't know because I'm like, I'm not 100% sure, but I think when I use it and hit it, it kind of slows the slows the sequences that they use down. Now, of course, all my software is like version one, which is not the best. Um, we really got to find better software here pretty quick. Blowtorch, like Blowtorch three, obviously version three. Um, and again, you want to like cycle through. I think it's hammer time. You know what it is. It is hammer time. Come on, is that it? Nope, one more. Okay, well, um, yeah, drill. Sure. Nothing yet? Okay, well, I'm gonna thunderhead. One more. Hit him with a virus. Hitting with a virus this late in the battle is maybe useless, but... At the same time, okay, there we go. We almost crushed. Okay, the old Copenhagen. What do we got? Okay, screen went a bit different than when we were battling Hal, so I have a feeling we're just right into a database here. Ah, Copenhagen University. The old Copenhagen U. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, I'll shorthand it there. Copenhagen University, you have reached the Copenhagen message base. We welcome all free thinkers and students of life. Okay, cleared for level two access. All right. Now, I was going to say, what university doesn't have <laughs> illegal softwares kicking around that students have loaded on to their old computer science lab right let's go notes of we haven't been here so we're gonna read it all notes of interest copenhagen university our polar bears finished their blood sport season 12 3 and 1 winning the pan-european championship in a hard-fought contest against leningrad university Moltov cocktails <laughs> good name our star lars mabuta lars buta finished the final game, despite nearly having his left leg severed halfway through the first day of competition. Doctors report his replacement will work almost like new, and we hope he'll be back for cross-country competition in the fall. Okay. Cyberspace and Addictive Personalities was a paper delivered by our own Professor Marcia Sanderson at last month's psycho Psychologist Convention in Paris. Huh, should I be recording any of this stuff? Writing it down? I don't, I think this is flavor text to tell you the truth. I haven't seen Marsha Sanderson's name anywhere. She su suggested that computers can be addictive and very time consuming, but she reports no hard evidence that computers are harmful. Computers are the soul of current society. 
to embrace them is to embrace life itself. She also pointed out that the pseudonyms used by so-called cyberspace cowboys, thank you, are merely a manifestation of their true selves and no different from the Japanese custom in which samurai would adopt new names repeatedly during their careers. Wow. Okay. This game is from 1988. Okay. And they're talking about how computers have become a fabric of society in 1988. Man, William Gibson was so far ahead of his time. It's not even funny. I should catch up on his latest books. Figure out what direction this world's going. He's got the he's got the inside scoop. All right. Oh, back to the flavor. Copenhagen University is leading the effort to discover why numbers of very adept cyberspace operators have been dropping out of the communications network, said Michael Austin, an aide to Dr. Marcia Sanderson. We're focusing our study with on withdrawal symptoms and feelings of rejection on the network. Something out there is alienating users, and we hope to determine what it is. The research funded by a grant from Tesser Ashpool funneled through their Allard Technologies subdivision begins immediately. All right, detailed notes. I feel like we've got Allard Technology, yes. Tesser Ashpool. Okay, we got those filled out. You know what? I wonder if we got to throw in Dr. Marcia Sanderson. Sure. Marcia. Sanderson. Okay. Okay. Uh, begins immediately. Okay, cool. Message base. Let's hit it. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a message to me on the Copenhagen. Okay, let's start at the top here. Two Lars Butu from Death Angels. Shadow. Great game, Lars. Sorry about those fingers you lost in the last period. I guess you won't be typing back or reply that quickly, will you? Hope the spare parts shop in Copenhagen is better than the one in Sheba City. This pancreas I got sucks. All right. To Dr. Sanderson from Habitual. Habitual user. Saw a bit of your paper delivery the other day. Think I got most of the French. Hit the nail on the head. No harm in decks. Promote intellectual development. Okay. To Death Angel's Shadow from Lars Butu. <laughs> He's missing some fingers. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll read it up here. Thank you for your message about the game. You are right that losing finger on my left hand will make for difficult writing, but I'll try. I enjoy the game. My leg a lot better no now. Don't bear won't barely limp. Bye for now. Well, never cut them down. I mean, maybe that's where kids these days are getting their shorthand from. Huh. All right. Now we're getting into the details here. What do we got? Death Angel's Shadow is sending me a message on Copenhagen University database. I didn't even know it existed. Okay, here we go. It's getting real spooky out here. Was supposed to get some information from some div kid, but he's gone null. Have you seen him? I have not. Okay. All from Death Angel's Shadow. All you new Moes, remember that all icebreakers aren't created equal. So being the cool guy that I am, I leave the following info for all. Good? Decoder, blowtorch, and hammer. Better? Doorstop drill. Best. Concrete depth charge logic bomb. Good luck. Oh, information. Okay, so basically, good, better, and best icebreakers. Hmm. Okay, I think I I think I see the scale here. So we got good. 
you know what? I'm just going to clean this up here. Good. Uh, so decoder, blowtorch, and hammer. Blowtorch, hammer, decoder. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, they're already in. I don't have to... Better. Okay. Uh, can I... Do I dare underline these guys? Ah, no. No. No underlining. Um, okay, decoder, blowtorch, and hammer. Better is drill, doorstop. How am I going to do this? Okay, because I don't want to... Okay, I'm going to... Yeah, I'll do it this way. Okay, best. This is critical information because um, as we get to the higher levels, we're going to need much better much better icebreakers in fact even now we're like seeing the effects of crappy icebreakers logic bomb okay so uh hmm icebreakers good better and best so really okay with what we've currently got we want to be hitting um we want to be hitting drill right off the bat every time first i think and then cycle through the rest okay uh ah software library here's what we want okay comlink 4 no good to us decoder 1.0 well we got two so forget it probe 4 hang on a second probe 4 oh Heck yeah, let's grab it. All right, let's upgrade that to four. Jammies. What the heck is jammies? I have not seen jammies. Okay, we're gonna grab it. Uh, I'll just throw it down here, just till I figure out what it is, 1.0, and doorstop, oh, look at that, okay, let's grab doorstop, actually, let's grab two doorstops, so, uh, that's 1.0, get over here, there we go, doorstop 1.0. So we got doorstop 1.0 and we've got drill. Okay, perfect. Nothing else of interest here. Okay, faculty alumni news. What do we got? Dr. Henrich Gott has been made Professor Emeritus in Economic Political Economics, Political Science. He's best known for pioneering the combination of public, private, and economic pressure in an effort to oust unfavorable dictators from small nations and getting them to cough up the money they have stolen. The so-called Henrik Maneuver has been successfully employed to strip illegal wealth from half, a half dozen African leaders. Hen Is that important? Hmm. You know what? Shh. Okay, okay, yeah. I mean, if we're writing down Marsha, we're writing down. Henrich Gott. Okay. Okay. May as well. Information is critical in this game. So, as we know, I mean, look at this. This is crazy. Okay, we're out of here. Going to exit here. Um little disc flip okay uh oh i wanted to acknowledge um one of my viewers slash commenters a uh, mr dirk flanagan he pointed out that uh my health bar in episode 21 Way back in episode 21, when I was feeling great and super confident and kicking butt, he um, pointed out exactly what the uh, the health bar is 
the sidebar that I was like, I'm sure there's some ice level on there. Well, yes, he indicated and he pointed out that, yeah, the ice level was so low, apparently, that I was fighting um, that it wasn't even showing up on the on the bar. So if that's an indication of how good the ice is going to get, we might be in some trouble. Uh, the other thing he pointed out was the health health meter and how that works so i just want to say i appreciate that mr or mrs dirk flanagan uh thank you very much for that information and that will definitely help viewers and myself for future games all right i think i've i think i've done i don't really know what i've done actually Besides realizing that I almost got, I know that I don't want to go back to the NASA database just yet. We gathered some info. I grabbed doorstop and health is still building up. So pretty much we're sitting here. In the meantime, I think I am going to end the episode here and, uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, viewing, listening. And I'm going to be back real soon with another video. This is Chad, Gamer for Fun, stumbling through Neuromancer. And I think I'm finally recovered from my battle from Hal. And we're going to get back to it and we're going to hunt down another AI. We'll, we'll give Hal a little bit of a berth at the moment. So. We'll see you again real soon. Thanks a lot.